Hi all, I'm Nathan, this is Laura. Hi, and the video you're about to see is a compilation of chocolate, uh, or chocolate related mm -hmm. reviews that we did on what is now our toy channel. Uh, we figured they were more at home here. Some of these products might still be available, some might not. Enjoy. I'm here with my crunchy wife, Laura. I'm here with the Milky Bar Kid husband, Nathan. Oh God, that ad. That's oh. from years ago. Let us know if you remember that. <laughs> yeah, we're here for the new Milky Bar, Nutty and Crunchy Bar. Yeah, um, I guess it's their usual kind of chocolate with, yeah, nuts. Um, it's a or, maybe, or maybe like something else, I'm not sure. Does it's it a, say? It's a very mm. boring, like, you know. New item. Yeah. Um, by boring, we mean lots of things have nuts, you know. there's Snickers, Picnic. Doesn't say anything, just mm. nutty and crunchy. So, right. yeah. Do you want to maybe open that up? Oh. Whoa. I'm just punching the camera out of excitement. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know, we now have videos every single day. There you so, go. Don't forget to check back. You can definitely see there's something in there and it's already instantly melting in my fingers. Yeah, white chocolate doesn't really Ugh, There you go, you can try like a piece. I should say white chocolate I don't I don't like. <laughs> I always seem to be trying things that I, I don't like. Hmm. Hmm. Not too bad. There is one thing I will mm. say about it. The crunchiness is very similar to the Milky Bar with cookies. So they make one with like biscuit pieces in it. And the only difference I can sort of taste is it's a bit firm with the crunch, obviously because it's sort of nuts rather than biscuit pieces. And you get a slight nutty flavor overall. Mm. For me, it's white chocolate with some tiny ground up bits of crunchiness. That it's still, it pretty much just mm. tastes like a regular Milky Bar, but crunchy. Yeah, I didn't really even get a lot of nut flavour. Mm. It was more just, there was like crunchy bits, which I don't find pleasant. For, like for me personally, I feel like I'm just grinding my teeth on something. Well, I find it really satisfying personally. Yeah, so we have obviously different mm. tastes. Um, thumbs down. And if you are a fan of like smooth white chocolate, this isn't really going to be for you either, obviously because of the but crunch. So. If you like white chocolate and you got, you know, you like crunchiness or nuts, thumbs up for me. Mm, yeah, yeah, I'll pass. I'm here with my wonderful wife, Laura, and we're here just to do a quick video on some Kinder Bueno bars. You miss someone. We've also got one of our cats here who's called Kink, who is yeah causing the big shadow across <laughs> across these. And it's not just any Kinder Bueno. We've got like the regular one, which is just chocolate and hazelnut. But we've got the new white, white one. chocolate. But it's not all white. It's got like a little I yeah. Don't know, scattering of something on there. I don't know. Uh, we haven't really read much about these. She's licking my ear. Ah. Nice. Okay. Um, shall we try the, Just the regular, regular one first? Because I don't remember the last time I've had one of these. Um, this is obviously from the same people that make like the Kinder Surprise eggs and, and that sort of thing as well. They have a whole bunch of great stuff. I really like the Kinder Surprise chocolate. Yeah. So the regular one is milk chocolate covered wafer with smooth milk and hazelnut filling. And this is like a two bar yeah. Thing. Oh, they're originally sealed. That's been a while since yeah. I've had, um, <laughs> had these. So that's what it looks like in the packaging there. Yes, I have a little pull key. tab to take the end off. I don't know. <laughs> There's one for you. Thank that's, you. Oh, I, do you want to show you? It's a filling. It's actually, it's a little that's bit of... That's the wafer. Yeah, a little see. bit of... A little bit of what? Like the cream is underneath the wafer, mm. all the filling. Mm -mm. It's got the nice hazelnut, kind of Nutella taste in the middle. Crunchy little wafer. It's a very light chocolate bar. There's mm. not a lot of chocolate C in it. Compared mm. to like a, a Mars bar or a Snickers or something like that, it's very... Um, yes, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, but always quite nice. Although I'm not a fan of Nutella, so... No, that, and it's that sort of flavour. I'm not a big fan either. <laughs> so anyway, this is why we were here. Really for the white one. Um, Does it say what it is? White chocolate covered wafer with smooth milk and hazelnut filling. So wow. pretty much the same. Yeah, except what's this? Like. I don't know. It looks like it's like little, I don't know, chocolate shavings or, or I don't know. I'm just not sure. And where do we find this? Just at our local Safeway. Woolworths. Or Woolworths. So that's what the white one looks like. Yeah, it's definitely like a little crumb or something. Oop. I don't know, because it looks like it's come off. It looks like it's been sprinkled with like cocoa or something like that. Yeah, we're going to make a huge mess, because it opens in the middle of the pack, unlike the other one. 
king's very happy. I here. can already feel it raining down on me, so that's any, good. Can't let, hey, you have any chocolate, Missy? Oh yes, it's okay. everywhere. Yeah. Look at it all. Oh, oh yeah. Not one to give to the kids if you don't want them to make a mess, I so don't there's think. There's the filling, as you can sort of see. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know why they put that on there. Hmm. Mm. It's got, I think, the same filling, but the white chocolate and whatever the outside sort of dusting is really overpowers it, doesn't it? Mm. It really tastes, like, it's, it's really white chocolatey. And I really like white chocolate, but you're not a fan, so. No, it's really sweet. So if you want something that's white chocolate and hazelnut, go ahead. But if you don't like white chocolate, I would steer it. Ahead. Definitely. It's overwhelmingly white chocolate. I'm here with my one for half Laura. And we're here mm -hmm. to look at uh, an Allen's product, a very interesting one. Very different one. Mm. So if you're not familiar, uh, Allen's generally makes bags of lollies. Yeah. Uh, or candy, if you're from a country that calls it candy. Yeah, they're not usually, I don't think they make any chocolate by themselves I'm, that I'm aware of. Not in blocks like this. So they sell things like snakes and jelly tots. Red and frogs, and green frogs, all that sort of they stuff. They sell green frogs. Well, I'm out of, I can't remember anymore. No. Right, anyway, lollies. So they've just come out with this limited edition block of chocolate. So it's basically jelly tops covered in smooth milk chocolate. Um, I assume they've got a partnership with Nestle since they've got the Nestle brand on the back. It says, great smiles with a fun combination of colourful, fruit, fruity flavoured Allen's jelly tots covered in deliciously smooth milk chocolate. Oh, I'm excited to try this. Um, I saw it in one of the like, grocery catalogues and I thought, mmm, yum. Yeah, so, <laughs> did, did we explain what jelly tots were? They're just, the jelly tots are just really, but it's basically what you can see Yeah, just on the front. like little, um, tiny, gummy, gummy lollies, yeah, jude yeah. lollies, whatever you want to call them, and they are fruit flavoured. They are indeed. Yeah, every see. different colour is a different fruit. Alright, let's, so, I open the yeah. block. I wonder if they'll make more if this is a success. So obviously it's just, doesn't look like much on the outside. Just a regular piece of chocolate? Yeah. I don't know if okay. I buy into it. And it says, Nestle! Alright. Probably the camera can pick that up. You got a lot of green. Hmm. Well, I've got nothing. <laughs> so I've just enjoyed half a piece of just milk chocolate. It definitely tastes like a jelly tot. That little lime. Um. Do you want to try another one, dear? I guess I'll have to. Hmm. Um. Yeah. So um, I had none. If you def if you get one in your block, it definitely tastes like jelly tots. I don't go that That's a bit of a failure, though. I mean, hmm. right at the top of the pack, one of the first pieces we take out is just chocolate. I mean, Nestle chocolate is nice. Do you but remember um, Cadbury had some sort of um, weird? It was like raspberry filled chocolate. Remember for a while, mm. and we brought a block, and there was no raspberry in it. And we actually contacted. It was a raspberry mousse, I think. It yeah. Was. Hmm. We contacted the company and actually apologised and sent us out a free a coupon <laughs> for a free block. So that one has a tiny bit over there. Hmm. Um, chocolate's nice. The chocolate's just Nestle plain sort of milk chocolate. Hmm. Um, when you do get a jelly tot, they do indeed taste just like them, but we haven't had. Well, the bit I just showed you there was all that was in it. It wasn't like so, a whole so one got or anything. One and a half out of three. Yeah. Three blocks. I don't know if there's any. So. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you can see on the back that they're sort of in there, but yeah, that's well. I, yeah, I feel like I've just had some chocolate. I mean, it's mm. very—it'd be very hard for me to say anything good about it aside from the chocolate is nice because I didn't get any jelly tots aside well, from that tiny bit. You, you can a see. bite of that one—that's got one in it. No, I've just eaten two whole pieces now. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have to kind of go there yeah, about that. Like I said, I mean, you can't advertise a jelly tots chocolate block. And then, depends on which piece you get, you might not even get a jelly tot. I mean, imagine if you're sharing that with someone. Yeah, I didn't... And only half the people get some jelly tots. I didn't tots. really get much in there, so... At least you got mm. one. Yeah. Um, mm. If you like Nestle chocolate, it's fine. If you like jelly tots, it's fine. But, but not really. Buy a bag of jelly tots. Yeah, buy a bag of jelly tots <laughs> and then maybe a bag of plain Nestle chocolate. And just eat them together. Yeah. I'm here with my lover of cherry things wife, Laura. I'm here with my ganache covered husband, Nathan. And we're here for the new, or well, not so new, cherry ripe dark ganache. Yay. So Laura <laughs> doesn't really like cherry anything apart from, well, didn't even really like. Nor dark chocolate, so. 
Yeah, this is not my cup of tea. Um, you like cherry ripes, though. I do like cherry yeah. ripes. And you don't mind dark chocolate. I don't mind dark chocolate. So this is going to be for you. Yes. Uh, so it's ripe, juicy cherries and coconut with a dark ganache layer in old gold, rich dark chocolate. So old gold's just the, the Cadbury's dark range of chocolate. Yeah. So. Um, now, this has been through some heat waves so it has been the fridge though for us. a bit <laughs> if it's a bit weird it looks like it's survived okay uh it's summer here in australia if you're watching oh. from overseas so mm, that's definitely that doesn't look right it looks like a muesli bar that's not the color it's meant to be this is how it's meant to look inside that looks awfully wrong <laughs> i mean literally it's meant to be like a ready pink color right <laughs> um tastes fine it smells like a normal. Um, I guess that's maybe just the dark ganache has kind of discolored the middle, or maybe because it's melted. I only get it slightly chocolatier. I wouldn't have guessed that would have been dark chocolate or the ganache. No, I wouldn't either. Yeah, it's maybe a bit richer the chocolate, but a, a bit a bit more sort of chocolate sort of flavouring on it. But I mean, if you gave me this. And a regular cherry ripe, I'm not sure I could tell the difference. Or if someone just said, here's a cherry ripe, you'd be like, oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the colour would, you know, alert you more mm. than the taste. I'm not a fan of it, but I, I don't really like cherry ripes to begin with. But it, yeah, as we said, it doesn't really taste much different, unfortunately. So. Um, if you want a slightly, slightly richer cherry ripe, go for it. Otherwise, mm. You're not missing out on much. Yeah, but maybe just um, don't buy them during a heat wave because not a good idea. Yeah, I mean we've had like 40 degrees plus here Celsius. That is a few so, weeks ago. It was like 45 or something. Yeah, 45 degrees Celsius. So I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's really hot. So anyway, we're here and we're just going to look at some, uh, I suppose, limited edition special chocolate bars. Different chocolate bars. Yeah. So rather than your basic Mars bar, for example, it's got a different flavour. So yeah, I'm... or just a regular Snickers. So yeah. we have the limited edition mint flavour 12, the Fugly... Fugly? Not Fugly. <laughs> Fugly picnic bar, the Mars honeycomb, the cherry ripe double dipped, and the Snickers max choc. Um, now, as with a lot of our food videos, I don't know how new some of these are anymore. Um, we don't uh, always get them necessarily when no, they first No, I think the out. newest one is the, the Frugly Picnic out of all of them. Right. So. Um, let's get stuck in. Let's oh. try the Snickers at the front over there. Snickers? Yeah. Right. So Something I'm, nutty to start. It's just a nutty sort of caramel chocolate bar if you haven't had it before. Um, this is... So what makes this different? Chocolate caramel and nougat with peanuts covered in dark chocolate. Is it just because it's dark chocolate and they're normally milk chocolate? Uh, I guess. Hmm. I don't know. Because Max Choc doesn't really explain much. It's a bit much. darker than sort of... Yeah, so I'd say that's the, the, the major difference with this one. Yep, that's uh, peanuts. I'm not a really big Snickers fan myself, so... Hmm. Hmm. I don't mind Snickers, but I have to be in the mood for them. Um. I don't always feel like nuts in my chocolate bars. Because it's got so many nuts originally, it sort of just still overpowers whatever chocolate extra they have there. It just tastes like a Snickers bar. Yeah. Maybe with, the chocolate. with slightly more bitter yeah. chocolate. Yeah. So if you like Snickers and you like dark chocolate, it's one for you. Yeah. Otherwise, not much difference there. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Well, cherry ripe. All right. Another dark one by the looks of the packaging. So this is double dipped. Does it say anywhere what it is? So cherry ripe is a, well, uh, artificial loose cherry. Double dipped in old gold rich dark chocolate. Right. So it's like a dark chocolate version of a regular cherry ripe. Hmm. Which is a, I want to say cherry flavoured chocolate bar for anyone who hasn't has it, had it. But let's face it, it doesn't taste like a fresh cherry. No, so it's got just cherry coconutty sort of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Take that. Yeah, it's quite thick, just to like the top. Mm. I don't think they're normally that thick, the chocolate. No. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Just thicker. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was gonna I, say, same as with the Snickers. It's I really like cherry ripe, so if you like cherry ripes, you're yeah, good to go. Um, like with the Snickers, it's basically the same as a regular one, but just with dark chocolate and maybe and slightly a, a more bit chocolate. Thicker. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. 12 Mars or the Frugly. Let's go with the Mars. Something a bit different from the dark chocolate ones we've been having. So it's basically honeycomb flavour. I've actually had one of these before. Oh, I haven't, I don't think, so. 
And You've tried quite, one without me. It's quite a bit different in the side. Let me just try it. Because mm, your regular Mars bar is brown. <laughs> so pick that, but it's all basically just yellow, like yeah. a banana. Because it's normally a brown um, nougat with caramel and, and like, chocolate, and they're really good. But And it smells like honeycomb, too. Mm. Really strong smell of honeycomb. Mm. But you still get the traditional sort of Mars caramel taste as well. So. Yeah, it tastes like a Mars bar, but just with some honeycomb sort of mm. flavouring. That's nice. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't taste as strong with honeycombs as it smells either. It's no, just a nice, no, it doesn't. nice subtle one. Yeah. The frog lead or the twirl? Oh, up to you this time. So, a picnic, if you don't know what it is, it's basically a big bar with a couple of different sorts of nuts in it and covered in chocolate, I think, and caramel. Lo lots of nuts. Mm. Yeah. Very nutty normally. So, this one has. A unique combination of peanuts. Raisins, wafer, caramel and rice crisps covered in delicious Cadbury milk chocolate. So the difference with this one is the raisins. The, the ugly, ugly fruit. fruit apparently. <laughs> I guess so. So it looks like a regular picnic, all chunky and lumpy and all that. Can I have some? <laughs> I've just shown the audience what it looks like. Oh, so I, I didn't want to tear that one because this one goes everywhere. Mm. Oh, very stringy. Um I mean, it tastes like a regular picnic bar, but I didn't get any raisins, so... <laughs> mm, I'll do another. Great. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's um, like we've just taken a bite out of a picnic chocolate bar. If you like picnics, then you're probably good to go. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get any raisins. Mm. Nothing, it was just the normal, like, nuts and stuff. Oh, no, I think I had a little bit. It's just slightly sweeter in some bits, like, mm. just, yeah. Disappointing. Right. We'll just buy a normal one if we wanted one. All right, on to our last one. And we have, you can't see, but there's like a chocolate everywhere on the table now. So it's just limited edition mint twirl. A mint's normally like a, a no, mint. We know what mint is. A twirl is normally a wafer, isn't it? Like a round yeah. sort of wafer stick uh, thing. Two bars. Let me just get the camera. Mint uh, flavored swirls and curls covered in Cadbury dairy milk, milk chocolate. Yeah. So normally, obviously, the only difference is it's not um, mint. <laughs> it's just a, a wafery thing. I don't eat a lot of twirls, to be honest. Um, it doesn't look any different inside. So it's not a wafer. It's just chocolate curls. I guess. You've misled me. Well, smells and tastes definitely like mint. Mm. Um. Hmm. Yeah. It just tastes like standard. It's quite mm. minty and chocolatey. It's not bad, actually. I'm, I don't mind that. We've had a craving for mint during this pregnancy, so... Yeah, exactly. So it's all good. <laughs> um, oh, I like that. Yeah. I think that's quite nice. Okay. I don't remember the last time I had a normal 12, though, so no. I don't really have anything to compare that to. So I think the Frugly Picnic was lazy. <laughs> the mint turl was nice, but I mean... It's turl? Just, turl. We've changed the name mm, of that chocolate Cabri bar, turl. apparently. <laughs> uh, nice... It's just mint. I mean, you can get mint in any sort of other chocolate. But if you really like twelve and mint, I, mean, um, I, I like that one. I so. like cherry ripe. It's okay, but it's nothing radical. And the Snickers, it almost tastes like a regular Snickers. So I think the winner goes to the Mars Bar because it's got a nice Definitely balance between the, the, the honeycomb. honeycomb and the... Mm. Mm. That was really nice. I like I like that one, but I like the mint one, but that's because I've been really feeling like mint this pregnancy, as you said. So and I'm just squishing you at the moment, and you do indeed feel like mint. I don't feel like mint. <laughs> well, if you enjoyed watching this video, please give us a thumbs up, or let us know what you think uh, down below, if you've tried any of these ones yourself, or if you have any other interesting chocolate bars mm. that you can tell us about. Don't forget to hit subscribe either, that way you won't miss any of our new videos. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.